What's up, fellas? It's Sunday night. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the auction. As promised, we launched 155 motorcycles on Friday. Some of them trickled in Saturday morning. And uh, 11 motorcycles have sold. 11 guys clicked to buy it now. There's 142 still up right now. Uh, they'll all be ending next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 70 of the 140 up have met reserve already. So uh, technically 80-something of the 150 something bikes are going to sell we've got truckloads of bikes still coming up james is on his way back from from uh north carolina with a brand new 2007 honda cr85 he's got a brand new nos 79 cr250 he's got a nos restoration of, of all nos parts cr500 uh a motocross fox cr250 and a husky factory bike so five world-class bikes are coming last minute we saved the best for last Tomorrow morning, I'm taking out the Hulkster's bike, the KX500. I got one that's totally pimped out. Wait till you see it. Custom graphics by Christy. So we're going to uh, be uh, doing the video on that one tomorrow morning. We're also, later this this week, taking a KX500 with ice tires out to Coventry Lake. And Junior's bringing his 250. We're going to go send it around the lake. So I'm pretty psyched about that. I think I just I think I just drooled. I'm so excited, but hey, you know what the hell. It's real. Guys, it's super easy to get to the auction. Let me get over to my computer. I'll show you how. Easy peasy, guys. Even you old guys can figure this out. You don't need a 15-year-old to type in kaplancycles.com. Easy peasy, right? Punch that in there and click on it. It says, check out our live vintage motorcycle auctions. And there you have it, 141 bikes um, in the order they were listed. We've got a Honda Magna. I've got a Exile Chopper. I've got a Lambretta Scooter. These are all world-class bikes, like brand new. 71 CB350. KZ400. So we even have a Lincoln uh, Mark LT truck in the auction. Uh, PW50, XR75s, uh, all all kinds of bikes here. Just check it out. I even got the the uh, 750 Triumph. You guys uh, were asking about when that was going up. That's up. Uh, the GS1150 drag bike. The seven. I got three Honda 754s. I got a Cafe Racer. Uh, uh, I think three SL350s. A Hodaka. A couple of ATCs. Some vintage Cowies. Uh, vintage Aramaki Harley Davisons, uh, vintage Can Ams, um, KZ 1000s, just just uh, the list goes on and on and on. Some real primo stuff in here, and you know there's a lot of project bikes too. There are I'll show you in a second here. There's a whole bunch of bikes that have met reserve that are really affordable. So if you're looking for a project bike, look no further. I've got I've got tons of bikes on here for you guys. Here I clicked on auctions that will sell. You can see there's 60 motorcycles uh that that are gonna sell and if i click on the current price you'll see there, there are project bikes starting at 20 40 49 dollars 50 dollars there's a lot of inexpensive bikes on here that have met reserve um honda s 90s honda xr 75s gpz 550s tons of hondas i think i've got about 70 hondas total almost half the bikes in the auction are hondas and i've got some primo primo harleys coming your way uh, you could say we've saved the best for last. We've got three world-class two 1990s and one 2000 FXRs that are absolutely off the hook. Wait till you see those. And I got a fourth one, an FXR4, that should be uh, up probably Tuesday. So we have four kick-ass FXRs. I've got three KX500s and six or seven as Ron... Uh, I was thinking, I was Uncle Ronnie would say six or nine CR 500s too. So we've got some world, the nicest CR 500s we've ever had. CR 85s, NOS CR 85s, CR 250s, some primo heavy metal big bore two strokes coming down the pike. The best is for saving for last. Now we're going to be putting these bikes up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday be the last day uh, for a three day auction. All the auctions will end Thursday, excuse me, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this coming week. And then on two weeks from today, it's off to bike week for the Daytona Supercross. I have tons of kick-ass footage for you guys of the Daytona Supercross, the Daytona 200, the flat track racing, the International Motorcycle Show, the beach scene, Main Street. We'll go to the Cabbage Patch for the coleslaw wrestling, uh, to the drag races. We're, we're going we're gonna to be bouncing all over down south Daytona. So lots of big dollar best bikes still going to be listed. Uh and there's something for everybody inexpensive bikes there's world-class bikes and everything in between if you are a collector if you're a collector see what happens when junior's not filming if you're a collector and you have 
um, some vintage bikes or a collection, or if, if you have an estate with a bunch of motorcycles you want to sell, we take bikes on consignment. Uh, quite a few of the bikes. We just put up a, a KZ, uh, very rare limited edition KZ 1000 Mark II, I think it was. Um, last night for 18500 the guy gave it to us on consignment. I was like, that seems like a lot of money for that bike. Uh, apparently, it's a really rare limited edition. Well, somebody clicked to buy it now within an hour and, and bought it and put a deposit on it. So um, if you've got a world-class bike, whether it's a Chopper or a BMW or a Harley or a Honda or anything in between, and you want to do it on consignment, Give us a call at the shop, 860-454-7024 for the next auction. We're going to do these every two months. And, and, and if you're wondering what, why why we're doing auctions, well, we we invested $7.5 million, $7 million into the museum, the property. And uh, that doesn't even include the inventory of motorcycles that's there. We, we put a lot of time and money into building this, this uh, motorcycle mecca in Rockville. And to do events, the first year in 18 and 19, we had tons of events. We had uh, we had Rock Stock, which was 12 bands and thousands of motorcycles. Motorcycle Mania, thousands of bikes. Mini Bike Mania. We had the Brew Fest, where we sold 1,500 tickets. Uh, 15 only 1,500 people were drinking. There were a lot of sober people that weren't drinking too. So in one day. So and, and we had bike nights every Friday night and bands every, every Friday night. We had like 50 bands in 2019. And uh, we had hired 80, but we got ran out a few times, rained out a few times. But well, the state in March, it's coming up on a year now where the state uh, messaged us and, and uh, the town administrators that if we had events, they would put me in jail for a year um, and up to $100,000 in fines. So we were standing in the parking lot, me and, and 18 of the guys, because we're all like kind of panicking. We just got back from Daytona. You know, we thought, you know. The China virus is going to kill everybody. And, you know, the news is saying we're all going to die, basically. The sky is falling. We're all standing in the parking lot, six feet apart in a big circle, 19 of us. And I handed out pink slips to nine of them and uh, to leave that day uh, because we were shutting down. And then nine more were pink slips were handed out uh, for potential shutdown. We didn't have to lay those guys off because the state let the, the restoration shop stay open. So we met, had a metamorphosis from a event center to a buy sell trade shop, which has always been a, a side a side core, a core portion of the business, but now it was the only source of income. So um, late last year uh, in August, Junior's like, you know, it was March, April, May, June, July, August, we're close to six months. Junior's like, why don't we do a big auction like Mecham here at the museum? Why don't we uh, call some of our friends that have bikes, take some of our inventory that, that we're not, not gonna get to restore and we'll sell some bikes as is, so that's what we did. And we sold over 150 bikes the first auction. Then we did one uh, two months later in November. So uh, it was Junior's idea. It worked out. Um, we have this massive facility. We've got a big staff of 18 guys and we got to keep people busy. That's, that's what we're doing. We're buy, sell, trade of motorcycles is the business we've involved into. The museum is closed. Uh, we will be opening, reopening March 15th after bike week. So if you want to come check it out, uh, I think the state limitation is still 100 people which is kind of ridiculous when you've got a 150,000 square foot facility with 11 acres, you know, so um, hundred people isn't going to cover the, the electric bill. So we're going to stay in business by buying, and selling, and trading the most kick-ass vintage bikes around. So stay tuned. The next au auction we're going to do after this week's ends next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're shooting for mid April. Um, we'll, we'll let you know, we might, that date might slide into May. It might be every three months. I don't know, but um, there's a demand for what we're doing. And uh, we've got the facility and the staff and the know-how. So give us a call if you have any questions, 860-454-7024. I hope you enjoyed all the kick-ass bikes that we got ready for you guys. We've been busting our asses. Christy worked around the clock doing graphics for 14 custom bikes that we got that you haven't even, you only seen one of them so far. Um, James has been driving all over the country. The guys worked Saturday and Sunday. We're at the, they were at the shop Sunday. I paid them double overtime to come in today. And Doc was in there. He, Doc came in at 4 a.m. this morning, as crazy as that sounds. But he did 4 a.m. in completely detailed a 2000 FXR4 Harley with uh, um, 1,700 original miles. That one will be videoed tomorrow. Just beautiful. So got some kick-ass bikes coming your way. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Love you all. And God bless America.